Yeshayahu 27. In that day, Yahweh with his hard and great and strong sword will punish Luyathan, the swift serpent, and Luyathan, the crooked serpent, and he will slay the monster that is in the sea. In that day, a vineyard of wine, sing ye to it. I, Yahweh, am its keeper. I will water it every moment. Lest any hurt it, I will keep it night and day. Wrath is not in me. Would that the briars and thorns were against me in battle. I would march upon them. I would burn them together. Or else let him take hold of my strength that he may make peace with me. Yea, let him make peace with me. In days to come shall Yaqob take root, Yishrael shall blossom and bud, and they shall fill the face of the world with fruit. Hath he smitten them as he smote those that smote them? Or are they slain according to the slaughter of them that were slain by them? In measure, when thou sendest them away, thou dost contend with them. He hath removed them with his rough blast in the day of the east wind. Therefore by this shall the iniquity of Yaqob be atoned for, and this is all the fruit of taking away his sin that he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten apart, so that the Asherim and the sun images shall rise no more. For the fortified city is solitary, a habitation deserted and forsaken, like the wilderness. There shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down, and consume the branches thereof. When the boughs thereof are withered, they shall be broken off. The women shall come and set them on fire, for it is a people of no understanding. Therefore he that made them will not have compassion upon them, and he that formed them will show them no favor. And it shall be in that day that Yahweh will beat off his fruit from the flood of of the river to the brook of Mithraim, and ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Yishrael, and it shall be in that day that a great sounding horn shall be blown, and they shall come that were ready to perish in the land of Athur, and they that were outcasts in the land of Mithraim, and they shall worship Yahweh in the holy mountain at Yerushalayim.